My name is Michelle D. McBride. I'm the St. Charles County, Missouri Collector of Revenue, and we have a population of about 374,000 in the county. The main responsibility of the tax collector's office is to collect and distribute the property taxes. In Missouri, we have real estate taxes and personal property taxes, and we serve about 60 different jurisdictions who get their share of the money to fund public services. I didn't get into it for politics. I'd worked at a company for 11 and a quarter years. The privately held company was kind of shifting gears and becoming more public. And I liked the small office atmosphere and I saw a job posting. So I went to the county in 2000 as a fiscal manager for the collector's office. In 2005, my predecessor unfortunately got diagnosed with cancer. And it became evident that if I wanted to continue to affect changes and make things better for people in the county, I needed the authority to do so. So I took my skills in accounting, which were beneficial in the office, my skills in computers, and I said, I'm just gonna have to put my name in the hat and go for office. And I did it. The biggest challenges I face in my office are serving the constituents in a way that are appropriate to them. We've got six generations of people living in our county, from those people who've never known computers and cell phones and still don't own them today, to those who don't know life without them. So making sure that we're on the cutting edge for the young people and making sure we're not leaving out the tangible things that maybe the more mature, older Americans appreciate and enjoy. The other biggest challenge is making sure that I provide my staff with the tools and resources they need and give them something meaningful to do. It's not just a job they show up, it's something they can feel passionate and good about doing. I mean, who wants to be a bill collector? And that's what they are. So you got to make it something that they can understand and appreciate that we're collecting money that funds public services that provides for the youth of today becoming responsible adults of tomorrow, good roads, emergency services, things that everybody needs and appreciates in life. One thing I've done, I think, for the constituents that has really made their lives much better, and that is to, by ordinance, I actually asked for the law and got it passed to provide for partial payments on existing bills and advance payments on future bills. We've got a lot of people who fall behind for whatever reason. And in Missouri, your tax bill is due on December 31st. So how many people, after spending all this money on Christmas, are ready to fork out that tax money? And so we had a lot of people complain about that. And what I did is implemented by use of Omentum. It was one of the main things that really helped us be able to do this, is got an ordinance passed that would let people just pay like we're an escrow company, a little bit each month, so that when it came to the end of the year, it wasn't a two, three, four, five thousand dollar bill. They could manage it better for themselves. This is an honor to be named Office Holder of the Year. And I would like to just thank whomever it was who nominated me, because at this point, I'm not really sure. I want to thank my entire staff, because they are a great team to work with. I want to thank Thompson Reuters for making this an opportunity available to me. It's, it's quite an honor and a privilege, and I'm very humbled and honored by it.